All right, guys, welcome back. Okay, so video number 27 was kind of hectic, especially because I did not correctly call my function properly on our content.php page because I'm kind of an idiot. So I hope you guys all caught that. And if you didn't, here's what I'm talking about. I had this, I had our variable uh, page underscore set to like get underscore pages underscore pages. So if whatever you created it on your functions.php page, it's got to be this. And what I had on our functions.php page was get underscore pages underscore four underscore info. So hopefully you guys caught that and we're all on the same page. Okay, so in this video, let's finally start turning our navigation right here into links because now we're ready. I mean, our code is perfect. We spent more time than most would have to make sure that both our browser and server run awesomely. Okay, so let's look at our content.php page and see our var info right here to the menu right here where the menu is okay so let's go ahead and create a link so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use a basic HTML tag right here and it's a href equals this is where it kinda gets tricky because we already have double quotations right here so what we need to do is, you guys remember those escape quotations? So here's what we need to do. We need a backslash, quotation, backslash, and let's go ahead and close this out. And let's go ahead and end it right here. Okay, so let's go ahead and do that to our pages class as well. And I'm looking at this right now, and these variables are not correct. These both right here should be page or pages. Anything besides info. So let's go ahead and change these to page. Page as well. And let's go ahead and add our href tags. So or our, our HTML link tags. So let's go ahead and give it the backslash again because we have quotations within quotations. Give it another backslash. And let's close that out. And here is our ending ref tag. So let's go ahead and save this and reload this in our browser. And the link should be there, but they're not going to link to anything. Perfect. Okay. Well, they're purple. Looks like I already hit on them. But okay, for you guys, these should be blue. I'm going to reload this. Something's going to happen. I'd have to clear my browser out. Okay, so onwards and upwards. Okay, so what we're gonna do right now is let's go ahead and add an attribute to our link tags. And remember, these aren't dynamic links. These links are just talking to our database through our server, on our server, through PHP. So let's go up here to our info underscore set variable, and let's go ahead and create our link that's going to connect to our database. So let's go ahead and type in contact dot php but we need to ask a query. I mean we need to ask our database a question. So to do that we need to type a question mark because a query is a question mark. And let's go ahead and what do we want to okay so we already called this information. I don't want to use a word that big so we'll just use info. And I'll explain this as it outputs. Info equals, I'm going to drop down a line. Info equals, and I'm going to concatenate now. I'm going to concatenate a PHP function for security purposes. It's called URL, nope, encode info ID. Where's my bracket? Nope. Okay, that looks pretty darn good, but we need to get rid of this quotation right there and concatenate. Actually, we can put that there. Oh, actually, I'll just put it down here at the bottom. So let's go ahead and save this. Nope, that's one too many quotations. Let's go ahead and save this and let's reload this. Okay, so let's click on this is Village Park right now and our URL should output perfect. Actually, not perfect. Is my Apache on? I'm gonna pause the video. All right guys, I apologize. Uh, here's the problem. 
we want to connect our content.php page. I don't even think we have a contact.php page. So let's go ahead and change this from contact to content. 1T, let's go ahead and save it and let's reload it now. Okay, so let's click on this is Village Park. You can click on services or, or videos or services. And we'll click on this one right here. Perfect. Okay, look at our browser or look at our URL up here. Info 1, let's click on videos. Info 2, let's click on services. Info three. Okay, let's do the exact same thing to our pages now. So let's go ahead and look at our page setup and let's go ahead and create a link. So let's go ahead and type in content.php right there. Let's create the query and we will call this page this time. And we'll concatenate this. I'm gonna go ahead and drop a line right there. And let's go ahead do the same thing for security measures. Where's my, there it is. URL, encode, page, ID. Okay, come on, TextMate, bear with me. And let's concatenate our quotation down here at the end. And the reason I'm concatenating is because we have so many double quotations within double quotations. I mean, we don't have to concatenate this. And like another alternative we could do is just get rid of the concatenation and we could just put these in single quotes. But we're already kind of done with this. Actually, we have two quotations down there. So let's go ahead and delete one of them. I hate how it does that. Every time you hit quotations and text man, it gives you two. So let's go ahead and save this and let's look at our links now. Let's go ahead and reload this. Okay, about Village Park. So if we click on about Village Park, this should show up as page equals one. Perfect. Okay. And then mission statement is page equals two and then new PHP video is page equals three. Okay, good to know. Okay, so um, again, we don't have dynamic links right now, but our links are talking to our server through PHP. So hopefully you guys are following along. This is pretty difficult, so I hope that I'm doing a good job explaining it to you guys. And uh, good luck with this, and I'll see you guys in the next 